right, let's move on to the second lesson in data cleaning. This is a section focused on scaling and normalization. So transforming numerical variables in your data set to something that is more appropriate for different types of uh, data analytics techniques. So here we go, here's our notebook. The first chunk of code here is going to import pandas. In this case, you're also importing NumPy, SciPy. There's another uh, machine learning type of library that we're loading Seaborn and Matplotlib to do a little bit of plotting. We're kind of going a bit above and beyond in terms of the types of techniques and we're loading lots of new libraries this time to help us in this task of scaling uh, normalization. What's the difference between scaling and normalization? So if you have a variable that is numerical, it depends on the situation, but sometimes you need to change that range of data, which is scaling, or you need to change the distribution of the data, which is called normalization. So let's look at a couple different examples to begin with. This chunk of text here is going to kind of explain, you know, why you would want to do this. This is a little bit getting into the details of, of data analytics, which you can solidify more of in, in future videos. But just to, for the sake of understanding, basically what we're trying to do is create a range of zero to a 100 or zero to one, as opposed to a range of, you know, zero to 15,555 or whatever range that you're looking at of the data set, you're trying to make it more consistent. So you have different columns that you want to compare against each other. You can scale in order to do that. But what's going to happen here is that there is a couple of different data sets that are randomly created. So NumPy gives a, there's a way you can create random data using NumPy. It's a thousand, with well, a thousand rows in this case. Scaling, you're using a function called minmax scaling, which is taking the original data and scaling it from zero to one. And so what happens is, and this is one of the first times you've seen plotting, here's a chunk of code which is actually showing you how to plot these data in, in these Kaggle lessons. And here you can see the original data looks like this and the scale data looks like this. So before you have a range of zero to 7.5, with scaling, you have a range from zero to 1.0. Since your own notebook right now is creating this data set, you may have different range here in this beginning original data, but the scale data will always be zero to 1.0. On the other hand is you, you might've noticed that the, the distribution of data here is not n perfectly normalized. So it's not a normal distribution. A normal distribution is like the bell curve where you have a sort of a nice distribution that looks very much like a bell, which is quite, that's quite why it's called the bell curve. I'll show you here in a second when we normalize our data set. And sometimes you need to convert your data to a normal distribution in order to use certain types of machine learning methods, such as LDA, Gaussian naive Bayes, it even says anything with the word Gaussian in it with machine learning, you're, you're going to need to use normalized data as opposed to just regular raw data. Here's a situation where you have, we're using the stats library. We are creating a data set. Oh, sorry, we already have the original data set and we're using the box Cox transformation to convert uh, our original data set into a normalized data set. Here you can see the results of that. So this is a nice bell curve where you have a certain distribution on either side of your mean. So we went from before normalizing, it was almost L-shaped. After normalizing, it looks more like a bell curve. So you can apply more of what you just learned by going through the exercises for this section to solidify this knowledge. Mm -hmm.